Let's take a look at a common design challenge, which is the replacement of a proven design with a new option. So you see here we have a larger hole version of this muffler, which in fact we find has uh, more efficient flow patterns. Now, what we should always do is check the proven design and take a look at what kind of uh, what kind of performance we we see in the simulation. So we can look at our thermal stress results as well as vibration results. And the reason we'd want to do that is in this case we actually have uh, effects from both which are going to contribute to the stress state. So again notice we can key in on certain regions from certain analyses, in this case the vibration results, we see that effectively these seem to uh, really only have high stresses near the mounting points, which we really aren't changing. Now, the thermal stress on the other hand, we see some high stresses in other connection points as well as around the holes. Now let's take this new design, send that into mechanical, and effectively all we're going to need to do is supply some simple loads and boundary conditions and then we can bring in CFD results. Now this is a really nice process just a couple clicks we can go ahead and import results directly from our CFD study. Now, the reason this is nice is we don't have to do any kind of export and import there's no translation involved so if we rerun our flow analysis we can just choose additional results directly out of this dialog and rerun mechanical and see what the differences are. We can also set up additional analyses here. So we can set up vibration studies as well and then uh, be running them simultaneously while either running them at the same time or running one while we set another up. So you can see here that they're solving all simultaneously. Now we can take a look at our displacements as well as stresses for our, our thermal results. And again these came from uh, the CFD program. And we could take a look at our internal stresses. So in this case, we really want to focus on the difference that these large holes make. We can go ahead and slice the model open and, and see what's happening through our wall thicknesses or kind of behind the scenes, right? On the, outs, on the outside, we couldn't tell that uh, we had these high stresses in these regions. Notice that we certainly have higher stresses than were visible before. Uh, so we're definitely going to want to take a look at how this is going to affect things over time. We can set our plot settings up so that we have a scale that more accurately represents the stresses we saw on our original model. This is going to be a nice way to get some very comparative imagery out where we can really notice the, the difference between the two. We can also create animations this way as well. And of course all of this data can be exported for our reporting formats. Now let's shift gears a little bit and take a look at the differences in our vibration results. So again, we can set up some simple results looking at mode shapes where maybe we just want to avoid certain mode shapes that we know are going to be important. Um, and we can take a look at what those different shapes are and maybe how they actually uh, how they actually move or how the geometry actually moves due to these specific frequencies. But not only that, we can actually get into very specific data where we're going to vibrate the, the assembly at a certain rate, at a certain frequency, and we're, we want to see what the outcome of that is. So we can look at any given frequency that we've chosen and find out how much displacement and how much stress we have. Now again, we see in this case that actually it appears as though the stress states are very, very similar between our small hole design, which is our original proven design, and large holes. From here we can go through a fatigue analysis. So in this case we're going to focus our efforts on the thermal stress since this is where we really saw the most difference. And we can choose fatigue properties, set our fatigue data up, where we can select things such as how this is going to, um, you know, how this is going to be ramped up and down, things such as surface finish, where all of this data may not be important for simple stress, but when it comes to fatigue, this sort of thing makes a difference. So we have a very intuitive interface that really guides you through that process just by effectively asking simple questions. And by giving it basic information, it's able to calculate some really interesting things. Notice it gives us a readout right away that tells us that the design is safe based on these parameters. But of course, we can get more detailed color plots if we want. 
So we see in this case that our log 10 life cycles really shows that this part is still safe even with the large holes. This has now enabled us to know that our new design is going to perform just as well as our original, meaning we now have the confidence to move forward with innovation.